Welcome to the Casablanca Bar. It's a nice bar for nice folks. A lot of Playtex employees come in here to refresh themselves and toss back a couple of wet ones. Me, I just play the piano. How you doing, fingers? Sam, Sam Spade, good to see you. Sit down and have a drink. Oh, I can't. I've got an appointment with the head of a feminine and baby care products company, Lever Gerber of Eno International Worldwide. What's the matter, the name strike fear into your heart? No, the song's <laughs> over. She was working on a line of gentle glide bullets when Playtex lured her away. Now she was VP of marketing in their feminine care division. I caught up with her and her sidekick, Jane Wadler. Hello, Chris. Hello, Jane. It's been a long time. Looks like you've done pretty well for yourselves. That's right, Sam. Playtex is on a roll. And I want to start out by congratulating the entire Playtex team. Sounds good, Chris, but uh, can you make the product to keep up with demand? Oh. <laughs> I didn't what? realize that was going to be so controversial. <laughs> I was starting to overload on all this female talk, personal cleansing and easy flow and nipples. I needed a guy to talk to, somebody to slap on the back and share some male camaraderie with. Fortunately, at that moment, a guy walked into the bar. Ken Adak, marketing director, infant feeding. You pick the topic, pal. Booze, babes, baseball. How about cups? <laughs> cups? Yeah, cups. First there was a thing called the drink up cup. There was gonna be a launch, but then production stopped. Lots of parents knew the cup would be the best they ever had. The stores were waiting, and the buyers got real mad. But now it's back, so clear the shelves. Now there are lots of thirsty toddlers who can drink up for themselves. Play Texas done it once again, and now the drink up cup will thrive. It will survive. It will survive. It will survive. I decided to keep snooping around the Playtex office. I thought maybe I'd find a skeleton or two in the closet. I found one all right. It was one of the most bizarre things that I had ever seen. The guy had been stabbed in the back with a tampon. Silk glide with a rounded tip. Well, at least he didn't suffer. That's one of our new odor absorbing tampons, Sam. Lots of women use them. She was a product manager, and she had a lot to say. You've got to take it, doll. This is a great opportunity for you. But Sam, it will mean leaving you. Listen, doll face, the Playtex Infant Feeding Division needs you. You're a part of their work, a part of what keeps them going. If you don't take this job, you'll regret it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but someday, soon, and for the rest of your life. Well, Grandma, you don't look so tough to me. I don't, huh? What do you think? I'm just a little old lady who can't hold her bladder? Depends. <laughs> oh, you don't want to make me angry. Oh, what are you going to do? Knit me an itchy sweater? And they're going to torture you. <laughs> I ain't afraid of your torture, Grandma. I've been worked over by the best. What do you got? Brass knuckles? Tire iron? Knitting needles? No, Sam, something much, much worse. A marketing presentation. <laughs> no! <laughs> you know, it's ironic I met a dame like you at a tampon company. Till now, I always wanted a relationship with no strings attached. <laughs> Not so fast, Spade. Not so fast, Jojo. Not so fast, Slipster. Baba! What gives, sister? You pop up more than a wet one. <laughs> I really work for Playtex. I just took that job at Lever Gerber of Vino International Worldwide to keep an eye on the competition. What? Nobody's gonna steal the secret to Playtex's success while I'm around. Not so fast. <laughs>
They're great, aren't they? Chicago City Limits.